Joint Balance Formula. For healthy joints, get three bottles for $47.97 or one bottle for $22.97. Get your supply today. Visit us online at RiversideTaiChi.com forward slash Joint Balance Formula. Hieroglyphic Visions, a digital marketing services company. We provide digital services for your company, such as flyer design, online marketing, ad placement, logo design and when I've been down for a while but every now and then contact King Gaggy at 706-914-6238 or email at kinggaggy7 at gmail.com let me bring your vision to fruition peace Greetings and welcome to the Serious Minds app. This is Professor Griff. Come on in, stay for a while, browse around, check out the different communities. This live app will service your intellectual, psychic, and mental needs. So come on in, join the different communities, check them out, browse around. We have a community that will service your live stream needs, whether it's lectures, performance, interviews, online classes and study groups. We have a community that you can join where we're talking about and dealing with research study material, hopefully a virtual library, and as I said, online classes for you to join and take part in. We have communities that if you're on social media, you have social media information and links. And of course, if you enjoy my online weekly show, World Star Hit Radio and Serious Minds, you'll be able to catch them live right here on the app. Last but not least, we have the Oculus Inner Circle. With Oculus Inner Circle, we're dealing with the occult information, metaphysical information, esoteric information in dealing with the occult. So, stay on the app, join us. And by the way, you get all this for one low price per month. Subscribe, stay on the app, share it with other people, and I'll see you in a minute. This is Professor Griff for Serious Minds. For Serious Minds. Seriously. Peace. Greetings, this is Professor Grip of Public Enemy, and I want to introduce to you my new book, A Warrior's Tapestry. This book is a guide of rituals and practices that you can incorporate into your daily life. It will assist you in cultivating a life of discipline and a spirit and mindset of a warrior. It lays out a physical workout plan. It teaches you how to incorporate prayer and meditation into your daily routine. It explores the differences between education, entertainment, economics, religion, spirituality, sex, war, politics. It even breaks down and gives you a vegan meal guide and herbal supplement list. In the Warriors Tapestry, there's also a book list, a DVD list, a movie list, a music list. We incorporate all of these things so you can develop a Warriors mindset. And all this is to help cultivate a positive and clear, healthy habits spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally. A Warrior's Tapestry is a must-have manual for the serious seeker of the warrior spirit and lifestyle. To pre-order this book, pre-order it today. It's only $20. Price includes shipping and handling. The book is available, will be available 11 11 18. That's November 11th, 2018. You can purchase it by going to paypal.me forward slash Professor Griff Corp or log in to www.professorgriff.com.
www.thebigdrop.me or simply call me at 678-557-2919. Get this book, A Warrior's Tapestry, now. Please download the Serious Minds app and listen to further, further guidance and instruction on not only the Warrior's Tapestry, but weekly shows from Professor Griff. Thank you very much. Revolution is not an event, it's a process. Peace. Greetings, this is Professor Griff of Public Enemy. Welcome to the Oculus Inc. The Oculus, they are the ultra secret society. They are the ones that manipulate and control your perception. They're actually the gatekeepers of your perception. The Oculus are the ones that actually write the prescription. They are the ones to determine who and why you see what you're actually seeing through signs and symbols. These signs and symbols, we see them every single day. Your banks, your fast food stores, energy companies, gas stations, car companies, sports teams, all of them have signs and symbols that they use in such a way where they speak a language to one another. These are the things that the Oculus controls. The Oculus, Oculus Inc. Peace, this is Professor Griff for Serious Minds. For Serious Minds, seriously, and we are black again for some good and some not so good news and definitely Depending upon how you view it, maybe not some bad news. But anyway, we got to give the news and kind of filter it through, try to kind of wrestle with it and get some understanding. But I want to thank to all the sponsors that support this particular show. And if you would like to be one of those individuals that support this show, of course, you can go to www.professorgriff.me. All right. And you can um, support the show, donations or whatever. But better way. You can just purchase my book as a way of donating. The book is called A Warrior's Tapestry, and you can see it right here over my shoulder, right here. And um, or you can just go to paypal.me forward slash Professor Griff Corporation. Paypal.me forward slash Professor Griff Corp. Alright. www.paypal.me forward slash Professor Griff Corp. Purchase the book, it's $20, shipping and handling included. I'll get it right out to you. It comes out 11-11. The book comes out 11-11. Also, I need to remind you, all right, Mr. Carver, the soul singer, what's good with you, bro? I need to remind everybody to download the app, the Serious Minds app. Go to Google Play and the Apple Store and download the app. Next Wednesday, we are doing a test just like this for the Serious Minds live stream portion of the app as we develop the different communities. The app is in a beta test right now, all right? So I need y'all to sign up, get registered so we can have some numbers to do the beta test with, all right? But anyway, today's topics, we're gonna to talk about Megyn Kelly, we're gonna talk about Don Lemon, and we're gonna talk about uh, the caravan, the plight of the uh, immigrants coming into America from the different places that they're coming from. All right, okay, cool. All right, so it's a different kind of format that we're doing here on Serious Minds. We're trying to cut through the chase, not putting up so many images, that kind of thing. And uh, we're gonna show you a clip, we're gonna break to the clip, we're gonna kind of do some different things and we're gonna kind of have a discussion and we're gonna kind of go in that way, all right? Shout out to my man, Sabia Bay. all right? Listen, brothers and sisters, the vibrational pitch of our thinking we have to rise, we have to cause it to rise up above the pettiness, all right? Just because someone has a different philosophy or a different religion or different political persuasion or whatever does not necessarily mean that person is your direct enemy, especially if we are sharing the same culture, if we are sharing the same skin, if we are saving the, sh uh, the same history. So come on, all right? Come on. So let's rise above this emotion, the pettiness. There's too much of this madness going on on social media and off of social media, online and offline. All right, plain and simple. So uh, I wanted to remind everybody in the, uh, in the last segment we did that there's a showcase. Did I get you to fly, Mr. Shane, sir? You just fly for the showcase? There's a showcase that me and my wife are doing right here in the ATL. So if you know anyone that wants to showcase their talent, 
All right, right here in the ATL at Moods Music, right next door, Soul Village, we're doing a talent showcase. All right, so anybody that wants to sign up, we're going to put the flyer up for you to peace, queen, Miss Soleil. Hope you're enjoying yourself, your feet in the water, playing around with monkeys and sharks and skydiving and scuba diving and whatever you're doing. Um, shout out to Miss um, Saray Lumpkin. It's her born day. She actually reached the tender age of six. I can remember when I was 16, we ain't gonna talk about that. But happy born day, happy Earth Day um, to Miss Saray Lumpkin. All right, she goes by the unforgettable name of Dream. But anyway, shout out to Dream. All right, 16. Yeah. Um, sweet 16s. Did that ever happen when I was? Yeah, it never happened, man. I came into manhood a whole different kind of way. Did story just say Little Richard? Oh, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I can see right now, this is gonna be a problem. Okay. The beady head Little Richard. All right, I got you. Anyway, um, <laughs> Sanja, peace, what's good, man? Me, me, me and Soleil wanted to come back to Puerto Rico, but we couldn't even get in touch with you. Hit us up. Uh, but anyway, let me do this show, y'all. For real, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Uh, BD had little Richard comment a little bit later on. But anyway, um, we have to talk about Mel Megan Kelly and this blackface situation. We're going to talk about the Don Lemon situation with the, uh, uh, the biggest terror threat in the United States is white men. And we're going to talk about the caravan. All right. But like I was saying, the, uh, November 16th in Atlanta, Georgia, the, um, the, um, the talent showcase that we're having. Shout out to my man, Elliot. Shout out to my man, Daryl, at Moods Music. Shout out to my man, Elliot, at Soul Village. All right, so make sure you'll give me a call, 678-557-2919. Or look out for the flyer. If you're an artist in Atlanta, in the surrounding area, register. All right, I think it's like $5 to register. Come. We got a stage waiting for you. We're going to do some artist development. We're going to talk to some artists. And we're going to see if we can present these artists to the world via live stream. Come and join us. Let's make it happen on November 16th in the ATL. All right. In the meantime, in between time, thanks for all of the sponsors. Thanks for everyone that donated, whatever you donated, all right? To the people that, that signed up for my class, it is going to happen on the 15th. That Thursday, November 15th, I'm doing the, um, um, the, the class dealing with symbolic thought. So if you want to join the class, just go to PayPal, pay your money, or just give me a call, 678-557-2919. Go to my website, www.professorgriff.me, join the class I think it's $35, might be $25 to $35. I'm not sure. It's a two-hour class dealing with symbolic thought. All right? Symbolic thought. All right, let's dive into this subject matter we're about to dive into. All right, Megan Kelly got in a bit of hot water and ended up apologizing for a comment that she made dealing with Halloween costumes. And she talked about it is okay and it is cool for white people to dress up in black face it's called the sweet 16 because it is a 16 letter of the greek alphabet okay samuel claw x clock i gotta look into that give us give me some more information man text me something a little bit later on after i get off of here i'm gonna look into that why is it called the sweet 16 why sweet though all right samuel x dropping some information on us all right we need to look into that sweet 16 and I wrote a song called Sweet Sex Teen, and it was dealing with uh, this guy's obsession uh, with cocaine, with the 16 grams that ended up causing him to lose his life. We'll talk about that at another time. But Megyn Kelly, all right, we're going to break and we're going to show you what Mel Megyn Kelly talked about. Um, and then we will get right black to you. We'll be right back, people. All right, with your girl. Balance formula for healthy joints. Get three bottles for $47.97 or one bottle for $22.97. Get your supply today. Visit us online at RiversideTaiChi.com forward slash Joint Balance Formula. Hieroglyphic Visions a digital marketing services company. 
We provide digital services for your company, such as flyer design, online marketing, ad placement, logo design, and more. I've been down for a while, but every now and then Contact King Gaggy at 706-914-6200. Or email at kinggaggy7 at gmail.com. Let me bring your vision to fruition. Peace. Greetings and welcome to the Serious Minds app. This is Professor Griff. Come on in. Stay for a while. Browse around. Check out the different communities. This live app will service your intellectual, psychic, and mental needs. So come on in. Join the different communities. Check them out. Browse around. We have a community that will service your live stream needs. Whether it's lectures, performance, interviews, online classes, and study groups. We have a community that you can join where we're talking about and dealing with research study material, hopefully a virtual library, and as I said, online classes for you to join and take part in. We have communities that if you're on social media, you have social media information and links. And of course, if you enjoy my online weekly show, World Star Hit Radio and Serious Minds, you'll be able to catch them live right here on the app. Last but not least, we have the Oculus Inner Circle. With Oculus Inner Circle, we're dealing with the occult information, metaphysical information, esoteric information in dealing with the occult. So, stay on the app, join us. And by the way, you get all this for one low price per month. Subscribe, stay on the app, share it with other people, and I'll see you in a minute. This is Professor Griff for Serious Minds. For serious minds. Seriously. Peace. Peace. Greetings. This is Professor Griff of Public Enemy, and I want to introduce to you my new book, A Warrior's Tapestry. This book is a guide of rituals and practices that you can incorporate into your daily life. It will assist you in cultivating a life of discipline and a spirit and mindset of a warrior. It lays out a physical workout plan. It teaches you how to incorporate prayer and meditation into your daily routine. It explores differences between education, entertainment, economics, religion, spirituality, sex, war, politics. It even breaks down and gives you a vegan meal guide and herbal supplement list. In the Warriors Tapestry, there's also a book list, a DVD list, a movie list, a music list. We incorporate all of these things so you can develop a Warriors mindset. And all this is to help cultivate a positive and clear, healthy habits spiritually, physically, mentally, and emotionally. A Warrior's Tapestry is a must-have manual for the serious seeker of the warrior spirit and lifestyle. To pre-order this book, pre-order it today. It's only $20. Price includes shipping and handling. The book is available, will be available 11 11 18. That's November 11th, 2018. You can purchase it by going to paypal.me forward slash Professor Griff Corp or log in to www.professorgriff.me or simply call me at 678-557-2919. Get this book, A Warrior's Tapestry, now. Please download the Serious Minds app and listen to further, further guidance and instruction on not only the Warrior's Tapestry, but weekly shows from Professor Griff. Thank you very much. Revolution is not an event, it's a process. Peace.
The answer to the question of how a segment on Halloween costumes can go wrong is when you make it about blackface being okay. Here's NBC's Megyn Kelly. What is racist? Because, because so truly, you do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on blackface yes, yes. on Halloween or a black person who puts on whiteface yes. for Halloween. Like, I, back, okay, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as, like, a character. Yeah. There was a controversy on The Real Housewives of New York with Luann as she dresses Diana Ross. And she made her skin look darker than it really is. And people said that that was racist. And I don't know, I thought, like, who doesn't love Diana Ross? She wants to look like Diana Ross for one day. I, I don't know how, like, that got racist on Halloween. I <laughs> white people putting on blackface and black people <laughs> putting on whiteface are very different things. Kelly issued an apology to coworkers saying, I realize now that such behavior is indeed wrong. And I'm sorry. The history of blackface in our culture is abhorrent. The wound's too deep. I've never been a PC kind of person, but I understand that we need to be more sensitive in this day and age. D. Lemon. How much time do you have, Chris? I don't know, but you're eating into it with your silence right now. I, because I got so much going on here. Listen, I, I know Megan, you, we, you know, we do this. Every, sometimes you say stupid things when you're live, but I'm just gonna be honest. Megan is 47 years old. She's our age. There has never been a time in, that, in her 47 years that blackface has been acceptable. Um, there were all white people on that panel. There were no African Americans, no people of color there to say, hey, Megan, not cool. I wonder how much diversity she has on her staff. I don't know. I'm not there. But I would imagine there is not a lot because people would have informed her. This is what people of the larger culture don't understand about racism and about privilege. I don't know of many black people who are trying to be white people for Halloween or dressing up as white people, but I know a lot of people who do it for black people. She mentioned Luann, who I happen to know. I know Luann feels bad about the Diana Ross thing. It wasn't that Luann wanted to look like Diana Ross. She put on a wig that, was, that looked like Marge Simpson, right? Overcharacterizing Diana Ross. And there was no need, even in that, to put on dark face. Megan is not aware of the history of this country. It's not a one off. We remember the whole black Santa Claus thing, which was offensive. I think people really need to educate themselves about this particular issue. And we need to realize in this culture that some people do have a privilege where they don't have to think about it. It does not exist to them. Now, let me be honest. In this business, I'm the only person who looks like me in prime time. I'm a unicorn. Megan has taken over for what used to be an African-American woman and a black man who had that slot and who actually did better than her in the ratings and who in this situation would have said it is never okay to do blackface. It would not be this controversy. So diversity is key. The people who are hiring people like Megan, like me and you should realize how important diversity is how important it is for their talent to know the history of this country and not say stupid things like, it's okay, it's always been okay for people to dress up uh, and, and as long as they're honoring and memorializing people. It's never okay. I hear you on it. I don't disagree with anything you said. It's all spot on, especially about the hiring and the atmosphere that you work in and having people around who can help you understand things that maybe you don't. I don't people know that have been, the explanation. Uh, been characterized and these caricatures have been made up of black people with thick lips and broad nose and kinky hair, not because they want to celebrate the fact that God is this complexion or they want to celebrate the fact that the prophets and the messengers that came from the creator were sent by the creator as this complexion or, um, or any of those particular things that would take people, black people, and put us on a pedestal and revere us for who we really are. No, it's to make fun of black people. It's to degrade black people. It's to make us feel like the skin that we're in will never win. It's almost, they want to make us feel that this is a bag of shame and they criminalize the complexion we are, thus criminalizing us. All right, and this is the point. Now listen, this white woman knows as long as she's been doing news with her $69 million contract, 
with NBC, she's well aware of the implications on what she was saying in reference to uh, white people blackening up and dressing up as Diana Ross. I mean, Diana Ross. She know exactly what she was saying. All right. She's the same white woman that confirmed the fact that Jesus is, black, is white and Santa Claus is white. Same white woman. Do the history on, on Megyn Kelly. All right. These people know exactly what they're doing. All right. It's no mistake. It's no fraudulent slip. All right. She's not. Uh, uh, and she did apologize to it in order for her to do that. She, she has to do that in order to get a $30 million severance package that she's trying to get from NBC. We don't know what the contract says. We don't know what the clause is. All right. So we got to understand this particular dynamic and how it works. See, this is the language of racism, white supremacy being played out on the major networks because white people are speaking to white people. That, like Donald Trump with the synagogue sh shooter, the white supremacist that shot up the, the Jewish synagogue while they were praying, all right, they never want to criminalize white men. Never, ever want to criminalize white men. They say he has a mental illness. But let that be a black man that shot up a synagogue or any a church or any place else. Automatically, they're criminalizing him and criminalizing the whole black race. All right. White men get privilege and a special privilege. All right. In America, not to be labeled criminals, not to be labeled uh, terrorists, not to be labeled any of these things. We have to understand this. But the dehumanization process in the language of racism, uh, white supremacy is exactly what we're experiencing. You may get it and you may understand it, but the young generation coming up behind us, all right, they may not be that um, politically astute. They may not be racially sensitive. They may not be culturally racially sensitive. They may not be any of these things to pick up on the language of racism, white supremacy, and they may not have enough mental capacity to um, dissect the race, the language in racism, white supremacy, and it may affect them on a subconscious or psychological level. Um, um, so we have to understand this particular dynamic and how it works. All right. But if Megyn Kelly says that, does Megyn Kelly realize in, in the language of racism, white supremacy, that everything dark and black is superior? Talk to me. Come on. Judges wear what color? Police wear what color? The essence from which all of us come is what color? And it's deeper than the color. I'm just using color for right now. So Megyn Kelly understands this. Even in her white psyche, Megyn Kelly understands this because even in the language of racism, white supremacy, the man that they want, they describe him as tall, dark, and handsome. Right or wrong? Come on. Talk to me. Even when they go find the men that they want. He's not pale white. He has a complexion to him. The swarthy kind of dark skin complected white man that they want. So let's understand this particular dynamic and understand how this work. All right. So Megan Kelly, we know that you know exactly what you're saying and what you are doing. All right. Because these white fraternities and sororities, when they blacken up, what do you have to say, Megan Kelly? You see, all these people want to be black like Megyn Kelly and the rest of them until it's time to be black. Are you following what I'm saying? So we have to understand exactly what they're saying by reading and listening between the lines. All right. Like, for example, as an example, side note, comedic moment, Story Lumpkin. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the darkest woman I know. You understand what I'm saying? But you can't tell her that she's not. <laughs> I'm only joking. But anyway, <laughs> we have to be we have to be secure with the skin we in. You understand what I'm saying? And if you study the chemical key to black greatness, which is melanin, you understand why the creator gave us what the creator has given us, which is a kinship to everything else in nature. This melanin is beautiful. This kinky hair is beautiful. It serves a purpose. All right. Megan Kelly, just a bit of news. Um, 
you and Treasure need to do a bit of fact checking and go back and get some history classes. Black people, the original people of the planet Earth. We come with keen, thin lips. We come with keen, sharp noses. We come with thick lips and broad noses. We come with kinky hair. We come with curly hair. We come with straight hair. We come with dark skin, brown skin, light skin. We come with 150,000 shades of midnight. All right. We come speaking different languages. We come with different heights and different sizes because we're the original people. All right. So we have to understand this particular dynamic. Everyone else is a facsimile thereof. We the original people in Asia. We are the original people in Mexico. We are the original people in Russia. We are the original people in Europe. We are the original people in Africa. We are the original people in America, throughout the Isles of the Pacific. We are the original people everywhere you go. And everywhere privileged white men who lack melanin went, they ran into us, the melanated people. And they created this system called racism, white supremacy, and we've been living under their thumb ever since. But it didn't stop them from raping black women. All right. It didn't stop them. All right. So these are facts. All right. So Megyn Kelly, if you get your severance packets, I need you to take some of that money and you need to donate it to Serious Minds. Institute so we can educate the Megan Kelly's of the world. You can send your donation, Megan Kelly, to www.paypal.me forward slash Professor Griff Corp. Uh, I'll be glad to take, I don't know, shoot me a meal. You're getting 30. You understand what I'm saying? You know, we're going to make, going to take that million dollars and put it to some use. And we actually truly going to build um, comedic institutions around the globe. And we're still waiting on the other dude to build the other one, but we're not worried about that. All right. We're going to build it in every household. All right. So let's put that money to some use, Megan. All right, Megan, this is Professor Griff from Public Enemy from Serious Minds Radio and TV and Serious Minds Institute, Serious Minds Film. Signing out, Meg. Meg, babe, do your thing. Peace. This is Professor Griff. I am out. Download the Serious Minds app, y'all. Don't forget. All right. Get the uh, Warriors Tapestry book. Give it to a friend for Kwanzaa or something. All right. Peace. I am Audi 5G. Peace. This is Professor Griff, and I'm here on Serious Minds for Serious Minds. Seriously. All right. If you're just joining on, all those commercials that you've seen prior to this, I need you to support the cause by supporting those individuals that place the ad right here on Serious Minds. All right. I'm glad you're tuning back in because um, we're going to talk about uh, on CNN, Don Lemon reported that white men are the biggest terror threat uh, in this particular country. So the biggest terror threat in this country are white men. As though we didn't know that. We knew that. All right. If Don Lemon is just now catching up to that, power to the people, Don. All right. But we're going to show a clip and we will be right black with your thoughts on keep trying to point out to people not to demonize any one group or any one ethnicity but we keep thinking that the biggest terror threat is something else some some, some people who are marching you know towards the border like it's imminent and when the last time they did this a couple hundred people came and they you know most of them did get into the country most of them tired you know got tuckered out before they even made it to the border um, so we have to stop demonizing people and realize the biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. And we have to start doing something about them. There is no travel ban on them. There is no ban on, you know, they have the Muslim ban. There is no white guy ban. So what do we do about that? All right. So now Don Lemon on CNN. Uh, there was more to that because I don't want to take Don out of context. Um, you need to watch the whole thing that Don put that, you know, we, that we took that from. And to keep it in context, um, they talked uh, Tucker Carlson and other people. We're going to show the Tucker Carlson thing in a minute. But Tucker Carlson and other people on Fox kept referring to the, um, the caravan of 
immigrants that's making their way from um, uh, um, Ecuador, is it, I believe, is coming through Mexico up into the United States. And um, Trump um, sent 5,000, is sending 5,000 troops on the, uh, on the border of Mexico um, in and around uh, San Diego, um, Texas, and other places. And, um, yep, to stop these individuals from coming in the United States. All right. Kevin Muhammad said, wait, isn't Don, Don engaged to one? That's a whole nother story, man. <laughs> but, okay. So now, hmm. There's so much to say about this real quick, though, <laughs> before we play the Tucker Carlson uh, clip. Um, let's understand this. This is a country of immigrants stopping immigrants from coming to a country of immigrants. Help me out. I'm just, yeah. This is a country of immigrants stopping immigrants from coming to a country of immigrants. Who was it that allowed the immigrants to come to this country in the first place? Was it not black and brown people that let these other people get off boats and come here without a green card, red card, black card, white card, whatever? Hmm. So, if white men are the biggest terror threat to this country, Don Lemon came after that clip, and I hope I can find it, and showed and proved and gave stats. Just this week alone, white men mailed bombs to the Democratic Party. Members of the Democratic Party. Black people, Corey and Maxine, Auntie Maxine and a few other people, am I right or wrong? Just this week, white men shot up two black people at a Kroger's, I believe, Walmart, Wally World, somewhere, at a grocery store. Am I not lying? Come on, talk to me. Just last week or this week, white men shot up a synagogue. A white man shot up a synagogue where Jewish people were praying. Am I not lying? Come on, talk to me. So Don Lemon is actually telling the truth that just this week alone, white men done wreaked havoc in America by shooting up places at Kroger's, by shooting up places. All right, so Don Lemon is absolutely correct. The number one threat, the number one terrorist, the number one terroristic threat in America are white people themselves. While white women are taking care of one end of fine-tuning racism, white supremacy, by calling the police on black people, white men are shooting down people in the, when they put on blue uniforms. White men, all right, whether they're white supremacists or not, because if you roll your, your mind back, the average person lynched black people in America, not some special group. The average person owned black people in America. The average person lynched black people. The average person uh, pissed on black people. The average person beat black people. All right? Wasn't no special group. Now, there was a special group that wore white sheets that terrorized black people throughout this country. All right. And they were not ex the exception to the woot rule. They were the rule. The white people under the sheets were the rule. So whether they had the sheets on or not. And now it seems like President Trump is exacerbating the tension, the racial tension in America. And white people who've always been privileged. Now they're coming out of the woodwork. Uh, and they're blocking you from going into your own home by calling the police on you. They're taking you out of Starbucks. You can't sell the water near the Walmart because they're calling the police. They're calling the police while you're sleeping in the dorm room and in the common area at the college. They're calling the police from you just being black. Did you see the woman, the one woman who, uh, who says she just hates the sight of black people? That's the average thinking of white people in America. And I know I'm going out on the limb by saying that if there is a different white person, you know, then they can call me or they can go on here and, and leave a comment or whatever. I don't mind, but I want to meet them. All right. Tara Q. Muhammad says separation is the only is the only key is the only answer to this. We need a separate territory that we can call our own so we can govern ourselves. But the question to you 
uh, TQ Muhammad is the fact that can we govern ourselves? Some people say separation is the key, but can we govern ourselves? All right. So Don Lemon may be correct. Don Lemon may absolutely be correct with this one, that the number one threat in America is white men. And then we have Negroes like uh, what's the sheriff's name? Uncle Tom. I believe in Cleveland someplace. Boot licking handkerchief head Negro. Uh, he's a sheriff. Um, I can't pull his Uncle Tom name up right now. But it, uh, Amos Wilson said the, the racism, white supremacy will produce these kind of characters. It will produce the Candace Owens of the world. All right. It will produce these kind of these kind of characters and they will be put in place. Dave Clark, Sheriff Clark, you're right. Yes. Racism, white supremacy will produce these kind of characters that will defend racism, white supremacy. Shout out to the people at Pan-African Connection. Shout out to Latanya at uh, Urban Intellectual. Shout out to my man, Ben X. Uh, shout out to Sankofa uh, in Dallas, Texas. Shout out to my man, Damon and his family. I'll be back at Sankofa for the Sankofa Speaks um, uh, lecture series at the end of December and in January. All right. I'll be back at Pan-African Connection at the end of December. All right. But Don Lemon was absolutely correct. All right. So we need to look at what's going on. All right. With white men trying to respond to what nature has done. All right. Nature has done it. We didn't tell the white women to look at black men as though we some sex objects and they write us in as tall, dark and handsome and they coming after white men. But you falling for it. Becky looking at you, not with the side eye. Becky looking directly at you. You understand what I'm saying? And y'all bagging them like a surprise. Like that's the highest realm that you can get. All right. Thanks to people like Kanye West. All right. So we need to understand this particular dynamic and what's going on. So some people say, well, Griff, isn't that diametrically opposed to what Dr. Francis Chris Wilson uh, mentioned in her definition of racism, white supremacy by them hooking up with black men? Aren't they causing this genetic annihilation among them as a people? Yes, they are. But they look at women like that that marry black men as collateral damage. All right. All right. So Don Lemon Trump is the distraction, blah, 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 blah. All right. So I guess this is one that Don Lemon can say he did his part by letting us know. Um, not that he's, he's engaged to a white man, but letting us know that he is actually going to uh, make a comment in dealing with white men and who's the number one terrorist. And if you look at it, who's the number one terrorist on the globe? It's not some jihadist. It's not some Muslim Taliban. It's not some Muslim, you know, um, that's operating in a cave somewhere in Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan. Um, you scared to take a stand wherever goddamn stand you taking in the bleaches in the damn stand wherever uh, It's white men in America and we need to understand that particular dynamic. That's just what it is All right Thank you. The problem of America is white men in America. Let's, let's get the stats. Let's not call names Let's get the stats and put the stats on the screen so we can show people all right how many Muslims that were true Muslims have actually shot up schools and churches and hospitals and this thing. White men. Oklahoma City bombing. White men. 9-11. Um, white men. You can look at any bombing, any mass terror event. White men. All right. The problem for the freaking world, Griff. Oh, uh, yeah, you can. I could. Let's, you want to prove that? Levy, um, Harvin, whoever you are. Yeah, it, name an incident. You talking about white, black on black crime? Let's talk about white on white crime. World War I, World War II, Civil War, white on white crime. Yeah. Um, chemtrails, white men. Poisoning the water in Flint, white men. Poisoning the toothpaste, white men. Poisoning the underarm deodorant, white men. Monsanto's white men. So come on. 
Well, Michelle, you got to send me some information on that. Text it to me. My phone number six seven eight five five seven two nine one nine. We got to get that story straight, Michelle. All right. My email address is seriousmindsinfo at gmail.com, and I'll be glad to get the information. Michelle, send me that information. Seriousmindsinfo at gmail.com. All right. So name, name it, and you can go across, you can look at history. Uh, the history is uh, the history of white people. There's blood dripping from the hands of white men, and Don Lemon was absolutely correct. Nuke bombs and weapons, sir. White men, what are you talking about? Mr. Levi, whoever you are, Harvin, white men. The nuclear bomb, that bomb Hiroshima and Nagasaki, white men. The atom bomb, what are you talking about? It's a beautiful thing that I have an audience here, but it's not a beautiful thing when you write stuff like that because you're absolutely incorrect. No, not serious minds, Michelle. S-I-R-I-U-S-M-I-N-D-Z. This is the show that you're on right now. Serious Minds. So it's S-I-R-I-U-S-M-I-N-D-Z. Info at gmail.com. Send me the information. You too, Mr. Levi. Levi, whatever your name is. L-E-V-I. Your last name is H-A-R-V-I-N. Come on. Uh-uh. Listen, y'all not dealing with a Johnny come lately here. I don't toot no horn, pat myself on the back. I don't want no title, no kudos, no plaque. No, but come with your facts, man. And stop playing. For real. You're right. Uh, Campbell Ty, Michael Bradley's book, The Iceman Inheritance. Read it. All right. Richard Ginsburg book, 100 Years of Lynching. Read it. All right. Zionist white men control all white men. Christopher, whatever your name is. All right, so I'm reading some of the comments in here. All right. So send me the information. We can dialogue. Help me get, help Professor Griff uh, earn my professorship. All right, I want to get educated too. So Don Lemon was absolutely correct. There's a lot of things I disagree with Don Lemon's position on, but we got to state facts when we see facts, and facts are facts. Matter of fact, go get that book, Facts of Facts. I don't know who the book is by, I have it on my shelf, but Facts of Facts. All right? Plain and simple. All right. We at the end of this, and uh, we're going to dive in. Do we need to play the Tucker Carlson thing to add it to this one? All right. Let's find Tucker Carlson and see what Tucker Carlson uh, actually had to say. Hold on. Let me get Tucker Carlson, and we're going to put him in so we can hear what Tucker Carlson had to say. Now, Tucker Carlson is on Fox, all right, and um, you got to be careful, these people on Fox, uh, yeah. Let me see. White folks have been at the center, blah, 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 blah. What was the name of the Tucker Carlson? Uh, Caravan's plight is not immigration. I got it. All right, uh, Mr. Tucker Carlson. They talk bad. Tucker <laughs> Uh, a caravan. Uh, oh, caravan's plight. All right, we're going to look up Tucker Carlson. Listen, the internet is here. Uh, hold on for a second. The internet is here for us to take advantage of this, the whole idea of this media. All right, so there is nothing in the world that's preventing us from doing, um, hold on, from doing some intricate cross-referencing and some studying, all right? We don't have to get on here and guess. This is not an emotional thing that I'm doing. I'm not tripping. I'm not ego tripping. I'm not, no, please present your facts. Um, Jegna, Kepra, whoever you are, we're not talking about the 13th Amendment right now. All right, we're about to go to see what Tucker Carlson has to say. Last month, a caravan of Central American migrants has gradually made its way up from Honduras through Mexico all the way to Tijuana, opposite San Diego. At one point, Mexican authorities claimed they broke up the group, and American media, of course, dutifully reported that they did. But they didn't. That was just a PR gesture and a temporary one. In fact, during parts of the trip, Mexican police escorted the migrants northward. In other words, the Mexican government abetted illegal immigration into this country, as it has done for many years. 
Well, tonight the caravan is on our southern border. Rather than wait for the crossing station of San Ysidro to open, many of them just jumped the fence. Some waved Honduran flags when they got to the top. And that tells you everything. When you arrive in a country to contribute to it and to assimilate into its culture, you don't wave the flag of a foreign nation. That's when you do in triumph when you invade a country. According to Border Control, at least one member of the caravan has already admitted to being a member of MS-13. All of this should worry us. There are only a few hundred people in this caravan, but there are billions more around the world who live amid violence and poverty, and virtually every single one of them would like to relocate to San Diego. The left argues we have no moral right to stop any of them from doing that. Here's attorney Nicole Ramos of Tijuana denouncing the U.S. government as criminal for trying to enforce our own federal law. Watch. The message for customs and border protection. Stop rejecting asylum seekers who try to present themselves at the port of entry. You know what you're doing. You know you turn people away. You complain that they are breaking the law by entering illegally. You are breaking the law and you are forcing them to break the law. That's why we have caravans. Yeah, that's definitely someone you want in control of our public policy, screaming into a bullhorn. This is not immigration. Immigration happens with the consent of the host country. This is happening by force, without our consent. A government that cared about its own citizens wouldn't allow it to happen. Bad things happen when you leave the door open. Every homeowner knows that. The left is demanding that we leave our door open. Any attempt at self-defense is immoral, they tell us, from the safety of their segregated neighborhoods, where they all live. Illegal immigrants are amazing people, they say, far better than you are, Mr. Entitled American. Last week, we had a conversation with Enrique Acevedo of Univision, and he made that point. If you're right up against a country that's totally out of control, as people are shooting each other in the numbers you just described, right. why wouldn't you be terrified to let them in? Well, I think you're not getting the criminals. You're getting the best of Mexico, the people who are oh. willing to work two or three shifts a day, the people who are law-abiding citizens and are proactive enough to try to provide a better future for their family, the people who are fleeing that violence. That's what you're getting, not rapists and criminals uh, but, like but, President but, but we Trump don't, suggested. But we don't know that, of course, because we have more no, than we do. 10... No, no, actually, don't. <laughs> not with guns, but whatever they can carry on their back with children in tow, they're invading the United States. You see, this is racism, white supremacy playing itself out because this is fear of genetic annihilation. It's Maurice... Maurice Holland, this is not fake news. Stop that. That's childish, Maurice. This is not fake news. This is real news because this is white people showing us exactly what they think and what they fear. They fear young black men coming from other countries into the United States of America, making America brown and black. Again, so this is not fake news. Uh, let's stop toting Trump's line. This is real news. What's fake about this? Now, the footage on here, I'm not sure if that's uh, in T Tijuana. I'm not sure that's on the border of San Diego, Texas, or wherever that's at. That could be fake. You're absolutely correct about that. But the whole idea, if you really listen to them, this is not fake. You hear fear of white genetic annihilation in their voice, all right? And this is a real dynamic coming from these, from these people, all right? He said there are billions more waiting to come to the United States. Okay, he says when they come into the United States, once they get here, like MS-13, you don't wave the flag of another country. Hold up, stop Mr. Tucker Carlson. I'm an avid boxing fan. I watch boxing all the time. There are people like Lomachenko uh, and other fighters that come from different countries, especially the Mexican and the Puerto Rican, not the Puerto Rican, and the Cuban fighters and other fighters, the Russian fighters and other fighters from Britain and, and other countries that come into the United States. And when they enter into the ring, they're draped in their flag from their country. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Soccer matches. When you watch soccer, she said, I'm going to speak as a white woman here. I don't fear anyone. They want me to fear. No, it's, it's, it's a genetic thing. Um, do we need, Michelle, do we need to read to you the definition of racism, white supremacy? On a subconscious level, white people fear. All right? That 
because um, of genetic annihilation that if white people got with black people, there would be no more white people left. That is the subconscious fear. Shout out to Khalil Shabazz, my man, Power Bond. All right, let me get back to this. So in soccer matches, they drape themselves in their flag. In the Olympics, they drape, when they win, they drape themselves in their flag. Right? So let's understand this particular dynamic. So Tucker Carlson, you dead ass. Wrong. What did those immigrants do that came over here um, on ships through Ellis Island? Before they took the land from the Palestinians. All right. To establish a homeland. So come on, stop. Stop. The gates were open. To every other immigrant that wanted to come to this country. And all they did was had to fill out a two page application and they got their citizenship. All right. But now all of a sudden the browning of America is happening. All right. And people are becoming more awake and more aware on what's going on. All right. And writ books written by white people are saying that white people won't even be around in a few hundred years because if white people keep mixing with black people, we will brown and tan the whole race of them. This is why you see them coming out of the woodworks. This is why they want to keep America white and again, make America white again and make America great, great in terms of keeping black people in check to the point where we don't move to their neighborhoods and impregnate their, their women. Keep America great again to the point where their women won't have interest in black men and their children come out brown. Keep America great again where they keep black people in check when it comes to buying homes, redlining black people, when it comes to going to college, getting further into education, getting jobs. This is their response. All right to you coming up in the world. They couldn't take it when Barack Obama was, was president, calling him everything from a monkey to everything else. See, this is their response to racism and white supremacy. You are right. My point is people are taught to fear for a reason. Michelle, and you're absolutely correct, but what is the reason, Michelle? What's the reason? We gotta go deeper than just branch knowledge. As I said on World Star the other night, this is understanding understanding and now we got to overstand all right so let's understand this particular dynamic what we're hearing from white men bobbleheads that's on that's on tv cnn fox and all the rest of them them they have an agenda the reason why he's saying that this is an invasion is to support uh trump's um a uh, whole uh, racist white ideology for sending 5,000 troops down there to stop them from coming into the United States. We are a threat if we know the truth. Yes, all of us are. All of us are a threat if we know the truth. All right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And the most radical revolutionary thing that you can do right now today, Michelle, is tell the truth. All right. You're right. We are a threat if we united. This is why we come from the human family perspective. All right. So we need to understand that particular dynamic. I don't want to talk about the crazy black, young black Republicans. Yeah, I need to sit in a room with them along with my crew and we can straighten that out. Because at the end of the day, what's, what's the end game, y'all? To the black Republicans out there, what's the end game? We were slaves up under the Republicans and Democrats. What's the damn end game? All right. We went to jail under the Democrats. We still go into jail under the Republicans. What's the end game? Daryl Muhammad said, tell the truth and shame the devil. So we need to understand this particular dynamic. Check this out with the images that my man Shane's going to put to this. It's on Infomaniacs. Uh, serious Minds, I mean, Serious Minds YouTube channel and Infomaniacs and check it out. A more dynamic, in-depth conversation. All right, make sure you hit the like button or hit the subscribe button and click that little bell so you can get a notification on when we're coming back on. All right. I got to do these in in impromptu kind of shows. All right. I'm right at the end of finishing my book. I'm about to submit it to get it proofread. All right. Make sure you'll get the Warriors Tapestry. Give me a call at 678-557-2919. Order the book right now. 
Go to www.paypal.me forward slash Professor Griff Corp. Order the book now. If you got young people in your family or that you have influence over that you're guiding to make it through this madness, order the book right now. All right? Download the app, uh, Serious Minds app on the Google Play Store or um, Apple TV. All right? So I will be black probably on Sunday or Monday with the next installment. All right, this is Professor Griff for Serious Minds, for Serious Minds, Seriously. And um, I got to sign out. I got some other things to do. I love y'all to life. Thank you, TQ, Muhammad, uh, Michelle, and the rest of y'all that participated. Thanks for the feedback. I really appreciate it. Listen, our goal is to raise the vibrational pitch of the human family into the thinking of the creator. All right, so we can get on one page and move this thing forward. All right, I don't mind the challenge. I don't mind the conversation. That's why I'm here. Not mad at you. Let's make it happen. Let's dialogue. All right, I love you all to life. All right, revolution is not an event. It's a process. It's Professor Grip. I'm signing out. Peace. Get three bottles for $47.97 or one bottle for $22.97. Get your supply today. Visit us online at RiversideTaiChi.com forward slash Joint Balance Formula. Hieroglyphic Visions a digital marketing services company. We provide digital services for your company, such as flyer design, online marketing, ad placement, logo design, and when I've been down for a while, but every now and then contact King Gaggy at 706-914-6238 or email kinggaggy7 at gmail.com. Let me bring your vision to fruition. Peace. Greetings and welcome to the Serious Minds app. This is Professor Griff. Come on in. Stay for a while. Browse around. Check out the different communities. This live app will service your intellectual, psychic, and mental needs. So come on in. Join the different communities. Check them out. Browse around. We have a community that will service your live stream needs. Whether it's lectures, performance, interviews, online classes, and study groups. We have a community that you can join where we're talking about and dealing with research study material, hopefully a virtual library, and as I said, online classes for you to join and take part in. We have communities that if you're on social media, we have social media information and links. And of course, if you enjoy my online weekly show, World Star Hit Radio and Serious Minds, you'll be able to catch them live right here on the app. Last but not least, we have the Oculus Inner Circle. With Oculus Inner Circle, we're dealing with the occult 
information, metaphysical information, esoteric information in dealing with the occult. So, stay on the app, join us. And by the way, you get all this for one low price per month. Subscribe, stay on the app, share it with other people, and I'll see you in a minute. This is Professor Griff for Serious Minds, for Serious Minds. Seriously. Peace. Greetings and welcome to the Serious Minds app. This is Professor Griff. Come on in. Stay for a while. Browse around. Check out the different communities. This live app will service your intellectual, psychic, and mental needs. So come on in. Join the different communities. Check them out. Browse around. We have a community that will service your live stream needs. Whether it's lectures, performance, interviews, online classes, and study groups. We have a community that you can join where we're talking about and dealing with research, study, material, hopefully a virtual library, and as I said, online classes for you to join and take part in. We have communities that if you're on social media, you have social media information and links. And of course, if you enjoy my online weekly show, World Star Hit Radio and Serious Minds, you'll be able to catch them live right here on the app. Last but not least, we have the Oculus Inner Circle. With Oculus Inner Circle, we're dealing with the occult information, metaphysical information, esoteric information in dealing with the occult. So, stay on the app, join us. And by the way, you get all this for one low price per month. Subscribe, stay on the app, share it with other people, and I'll see you in a minute. This is Professor Griff for Serious Minds. For serious minds. Seriously. Peace. Greetings. This is Professor Griff of Public Enemy. Welcome to the Oculus Inc. The Oculus. They are the ultra secret society. They are the ones that manipulate and control your perception. They're actually the gatekeepers of your perception. The Oculus are the ones that actually write the prescription. They are the ones to determine who and why you see what you're actually seeing through signs and symbols. These signs and symbols, we see them every single day. Your banks, your fast food stores, energy companies, gas stations, car companies, sports teams, all of them have signs and symbols that they use in such a way where they speak a language to one another. These are the things that the Oculus controls. The Oculus, Oculus Inc. 